we want to invite each of you to Axe Ministries 2020 Virtual Women's Conference. We're celebrating 30 years of ministry here, and for each decade, we have a speaker. So we are preparing for not only the Ministries Conference, but we have a concert, which will include our featured guest artist, Jacqueline Carr. So join us. And don't miss this. Share it with someone and invite someone online. You can go to our website, AxeMinistriesOnline.org, for more information. Welcome to the Words to Empower podcast, featuring Bishop Frank Stewart, pastor of the Acts Ministry in Conway and North Little Rock, and now, Pastor Stewart. As we've been talking about this whole week, as we transition from faith to relationship, we've learned that what really helps our faith is faith in God's love. When you know a person loves you, then it really helps your faith because you believe that they're going to do it for you. And and as we get into that, you're going to see that's what Hebrews 11 and 6 is all about, that if we don't believe that God loves us, then, then we cannot please him. We're talking about the first relationships in the Bible, and that is Adam and Eve and Adam and God and Eve and God. We're talking about those relationships. And we've gone through chapter 2 where the Lord put Adam and Eve in the garden gave them everything they needed there. It was perfect. It was paradise. Didn't even rain on them. And then one day, a stranger comes, a stranger, a serpent. He comes and he causes them to violate the relationship. Now, the one thing that the Lord has said, now, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. I want you to really focus on that. If you love me, you will keep my commandment. God says, if you don't love me, you won't obey me. Love is an action word. And when they passed by that tree, they were saying, God, we love you. So as we talked about that and got into chapter number three, and we're in verse number seven, down to verse seven, where Eve gives in. She violates the relationship with God. She violates her relationship with God. She says, God says we shouldn't do it, but you talked me into it and I'm going to try it. And she was looking for all these incredible things, all these incredible things to happen. And it didn't. Because for her to do what she did, in essence, it is saying that God is a liar. God is holding out on. And do you know, brothers and sisters, how many people leave God thinking that they can have more fun and be happier without God? The only people that do something like that are people that are deceived. Think about it. God who created everything, anything that a person creates, will never compare to the one who created them. So the God who gave us everything says, now I'm offering you myself. I'm offering you me. Would you want to have me or would you want to have what I created? And it's so many people, so many folks that go after what was created instead of going after God. And the Bible talks about that in Romans chapter 1, where those wanted to serve the creature instead of the creator. They broke relationship. We'll talk about that. They broke relationship, and when they broke relationship, they end up shattering their relationship with God, and it's some very bad, awful things happen to them in their choices. So here they eat from the tree, and verse 7, they got on their fig leaves, and they realized that they've been duped and everything. This stranger, this player has told them, has violated their relationship with God. Now, something happens. Something happens. It says that now God comes. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord God called Adam and said to him, where are you? Just think about that. Now this this should tell us what God is really looking for. It is a meeting place. It is a rendezvous that God had with Adam and Eve. He says, where are you? He's looking for them. Brothers and sisters, God is looking for those that have turned their back on him. He's looking for those that who do not know him. He sent Jesus into the world to die. And he, in his death, what Calvary was saying is, where are you? I came and I died for you. Where are you? Where are you? Why did you leave me? So here 
here God calls out to Adam. Adam, where are you? Where are you? The voice of a lover. This is the voice of a lover asking Adam, we supposed to meet. We had a date. We had a rendezvous. You didn't show up. Why, why didn't you show up? Where are you? Why are you not here? You see that? The one thing we have to understand that God is a very zealous God. He's a very zealous God. The Bible translates that in jealousy. It is he's zealous. He's very intense in his love. Now, that should be understandable. I don't think it's nobody uh, that's ever been in a relationship then want intensity in, their, in, in that relationship. Even our relationship with our children, we want to be acknowledged. We want, we want that intensity. We want them to love us, not just because we gave them something or we did something for them. Now, that's really not love, and, and it's incapable for a child to really understand love. Love is love whether there is gifts involved or not. Now you can you can you can give without loving, and that's what that's what throws everybody off. And this is what Satan is offering her. He's offering her a gift, but there's no love with it. But you cannot love without giving. Stay tuned for more of Frank Stewart. And now for some special announcements. Thanks for partnering with the Axe Ministries. We value your service and your donations. That's why we've made it easy to make contributions to support our ministry. Simply go to your web browser and click the search bar and type in xministriesonline.org. Then click Donate Online. It's really that easy. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. That's Simple Give. And now, more of Pastor Frank Stewart. So here they're standing. God is calling them. Adam answered. So he said, I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. See, the relationship has been violated. The relationship has been shattered now. It's been broken because Adam says, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I ran because I was afraid. Now he, he, he's he, they're dressed in fig leaves. So now. What they have done, they have brought secrets into the relationship. Secrets. Things that they have done in the relationship and they're trying to keep it secret. They put on fig leaves so God won't, uh, God won't notice. You know, God won't notice them standing there with fig leaves. But, but uh, God is omniscient. He knows everything. So they're standing there with their secrets. With their secrets. Now I want you to understand something. Now they put on the fig leaves to cover themselves because not only... Not only have they broken a relationship with God, they're broken relationship with one another. See, it's only it, Adam and Eve is the only two people on the planet. Yeah, they're hiding from God, but why are they putting on fig leaves? Because now they got secrets from one another. Now, this relationship with God, when that is violate, violated, when you violate your relationship with God, what it does impacts every other relationship you have. Because the only way we can really have true, wholesome, healthy relationships with anyone is when we have our relationship with God intact. You know, you always want to marry somebody that's, you always want somebody that love God first. They love you first, or love you, you're in trouble. You're in trouble because out of fate. But if they love God, they'll take care of you. They'll deal with you. So when, when they violate their relationship with God, they violate their relationship with one another because their relationship that they violated with God now impacts their relationship with one another. So not only do, are they trying to have, they're, they're, they're trying to hide from God these secrets. Now they got secrets, secrets with one another. And nothing destroys a relationship like a bunch of secrets, a bunch of things that have been hidden and hidden for years. So now God calls them and asks them, he says to them, he says to them, God, God says to them, uh, who told you that you were naked? Now, that's verse 11. So God says, now, wait a minute. Who told you that? Who you been listening to? Who you been talking to on the phone? Who told you that? Who told you that you were naked? Now, so now he's, he's getting to the root cause of what, what 
is going on in the relationship. How did this fall apart like this? God is talking. He said, now, now we just met the other day in the cool of the garden like we've been meeting for since I created you. We come together. We fellowship. We have sweet fellowship. And that is how we've been doing it for for days, months, weeks, years or whatever. However long it was in the garden. We, we've been doing this for a long time. What happened? Why did your attitude towards me change all of a sudden? I'm telling you, brothers and sisters. When you look at Genesis and you go all the way from Genesis to Revelation, it is all about relationship. It is all about relationship with God. We say, well, now it's about law. No, he says, if you love me, you keep my commandment. And he only had one for Adam and Eve because it was all about love. So now here they are standing before God and they tell him that he, he says to them, who you've been talking to? Who you've been talking to? And they said, they said that we've been talking to a stranger, the devil, the enemy, the serpent. And then God says, have you eaten from the tree which I commanded you that you should not eat? Now, let me just explore that a little bit. That's Genesis chapter 3 and 11. And God said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree which I commanded you that you should not eat? Now, immediately look what Adam says. Then the man said, the woman whom you gave to be with me. See, now, their relationship with God is broken, is shattered. Now, their relationship with one another. You see that immediately, immediately, Adam start blaming. Immediately. So I'm telling you, to get any relationship right, whether it is, it, it is a relationship in a marriage, whether it's marital, whether it's family or, or whatever, is when our relationship is wrong with God. It impacts every other relationship. Brothers and sisters, if you can't be faithful to God and he's perfect, why would you think anybody would ever be faithful to you and you do have at least one fault? So when we look at this, we look at this, the woman said, the man said, it was a woman that, that, that you gave me. Man, he offers her, he, he just, no protection. He said, it was the woman that did it. It was the woman that did it. But he just doesn't blame the woman. Notice, notice, notice the twofoldness here. He said, it was the woman that you gave me. Now, just, no, no, no. So now, now, he blames God for it. Not willing to take accountability, not willing to come and confess, not willing to uh, uh, say, as David said, I have sinned, I messed up. Now that's the 51st Psalm, David comes clean with that. I want you to stay with me this week. We only got about one or two days left in this week, but I really want you to stay with me as we're talking about relationship, uh, the first relationships in the history of the world, and that is Adam and Eve, and Adam and Eve, and God. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. The Axe Church in North Little Rock is located at 1224 Franklin Street. Bible study is each Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to axeministriesonline.org or give us a call at 501-329-2055. Thank you for tuning in to the Axe Ministry Podcast. The Axe Church is located at 1423 Indian Street in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Tune in each day to hear an inspiring word from Pastor Frank Stewart. We want to invite each of you to Axe Ministries 2020 Virtual Women's Conference. We're celebrating 30 years of ministry here, and for each decade we have a speaker. So we are preparing for not only the Ministries Conference, but we have a concert, which will include our featured guest artist, Jacqueline Carr. So join us. And don't miss this. Share it with someone and invite someone online. You can go to our website, axeministriesonline.org, for more information.